Hello, Max here. First off, I want to start off giving an apology to the lack of content for the past few weeks. I've been having some internal bleeding problems and also some intestinal problems that have made it very hard for just simply sitting for long amounts of time. I spent a week in the hospital. I wasn't able to get any access to my computer or really any computer for that matter. My brother did give me his laptop to use but didn't have any of the software or the uh, items that I needed to record so I just uh, used it as a play device I guess basically. But anyway, that aside I've got a few new episodes up. I've got a new episode of uh, Rising Storm for you guys if you like that. I've also got a tutorial to help fix your Minecraft if the new updates can make your Minecraft run slow. So go ahead and check those out if you wish. But right now, I'm uh, going to show you this KSS broadside that I built for the second episode of the continuation of Macy Dean series. It's really a tank. It doesn't like to turn at all. It tries its best, but it really doesn't do it well. The best way to get it to turn, I found, was to turn off the engines here, and then turn it while it's not moving. You could also try just turning it with a single engine, just leave one engine on and then the other off, but then those directional thrusters basically have no use other than aiming. This is probably one of the hardest craft to aim in my series. I tried very hard to aim this correctly. And the actual shot that I used of it blowing up one of the handland amphibious carriers was actually like the fourth try or something that I tried to get a shot onto one. If you look closely, you'll actually see that a few of the rockets are missing already, even though you never actually saw them fire. So right now... I'm uh, preparing for it to aim. If you saw those thrusters earlier that were actually inside of the craft, those are for aiming as well. It's basically to lift up the front of the craft and get it to get more range. And hopefully, like, the truth is, it doesn't really aim that well in any way sort of possible close range long range medium range any range it's not going to do too well I would say that you'd have to be super close in order to get to hit anything but there's my first shot there it doesn't fire in any specific pattern but the main main fear when you fire a rocket is that it's going to bounce on the bottom of the craft there and when it does that then it immediately angles it downwards and makes it so that it doesn't fire as well so really what you want to do is get it to hit the top of the aircraft that one hit the bottom there it, as you can see it <laughs> I might as well be ramming into the enemy's ship by now so as you spend more and more rockets the front end of course gets lighter and lighter and as the front end gets lighter and you use those thrusters inside of the craft you're at risk of actually flipping it over I don't believe I do so in this video if I remember correctly but if I do then it's near to the end where I've spent all of the rockets but as you can see it's really a combination of using those uh, front end rockets to lift up the craft and those directional thrusters to tilt it in ways so that it can fire better. This next shot, in my opinion, is the best shot I made. It kind of bumps off the bottom of the craft there, but tilts it upwards. So now it's sustaining itself and going completely sideways. It would ram into the side of any shipbound vehicle, and it goes for like 700 meters. If you put two KSS broadsides against each other, that would be an ideal shot. The most vulnerable place on the broadside is the side there because it's 
r wide open. It's got all of its payload in there. It's got directional thrusters and fuel in there. And it's the best place to hit. So we spent all our rockets, and now the craft is just so light that it just can't take it anymore. It just has to flip. And it might be due to some of my piloting. It might. <laughs> but truthfully, once you run out, then you're pretty bound to flip. Just turning it is going to make it want to flip. And since we're out of fuel here, there really is no other option than to just take it out and see. So that's the KSS broadside. If you liked the video, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave feedback for better videos, and I'll see you guys later.